China Concern Group, we wouldn't exist without our members, um, the, the seniors and you know, senior residents in Chinatown. We just, we just yeah, wouldn't have any had that level of impact that we had had uh, throughout these years of being grouped together. Um, so they really are the core, and I think we wouldn't have achieved what also what we could have in one of Aikifa without the residents, because this is their home, right? This is their neighborhood, you know, the gentrification, these buildings, they affect their lives ultimately. Um, and so their involvement in the movement um, and the fight is so critical, and I think that's a value that we hold strongly in Concern Group. We focus on um, many Chinese-speaking uh, residents. Uh, there's also some people, uh, community members, that come to Chinatown uh, regularly and you know, part of the community. Um, a lot of them tend to be seniors, and most of them also women, uh, but we try to be more inclusive of like you know all other ages as well but the space I think primarily is um, yeah for Chinese speaking uh, seniors as turned it out as they invite their friends and their neighbors we all tend to be seniors as well and then we also have you know a group of um, youth um, that are involved in supporting these uh, residents and um, getting their voices heard also you know translating interpretation um, and engaging into discussion, um, especially when we start talking about other issues that um, connect to other um, groups, um, such as the indigenous community, black community, um, uh, and things like that.